Uh, hello everyone. So today we will introduce about how to use uh, Delta uh, DVP PLC analog module. So at the beginning, I will uh, introduce the module uh, that we can connect to uh, Delta DVP uh, series PLC. So as you can see here, uh, this one is a PLC. And PLC type uh, in DVP we have a slim type, or we call S series. So you can see the model network S, SB2, SB, SB2, SA2, SX2, SE. And here I add the DH series uh, because this one can uh, connect the model uh, left side module of uh, uh, slim type series. And we also have a, uh, but the only exception is uh, SS2. So you can see for this uh, this type of PLC, we can not use a left side uh, module. And as we just mentioned, uh, for the EH3 uh, series, uh, this one is uh, the 32 point with dash L. This one is a special one that can uh, compatible with a uh, uh, slim type of uh, left side module. But for rest of uh, EH series, they can use uh, only in uh, EH uh, right side and lock module. And we also have uh, EX2 and EX2. <coughs> and as you can uh, see from here, we have a uh, left side and right side. So for the right, left hand side, uh, we can maximum extend the uh, add module. So you here you will see the uh, number is uh, from 100 to uh, 107. Uh, this, uh, regarding this one later, we, uh, I will explain. And you can see for the right hand side, uh, we can also expand another uh, head, uh, analog module. And uh, of course, if you want to extend a digital IO, you can also uh, insert uh, to the right hand side. You may wonder why here I put the uh, high speed and low speed. Okay, so basically for the left hand side uh, uh, extension module is for high speed. And for the right hand side, is, uh, I mean for the analog part is uh, for low speed. Uh, because for right hand side, uh, for example, the analog input or output, uh, is, uh, every channel, it, uh, sampling time roughly uh, 3 milliseconds, but for uh, left hand side is around two, uh, 250 uh, microseconds. So that, that's uh, why I put the high speed and low speed. So here you can see this is uh, for a uh, slim type uh, POC uh, extension module. So, so you can find from here uh, analog input and output. And if you can see if you see the model name and with a dash SL, that means uh, it for left side. And if you see it and with SOS2, then it means for uh, right, right hand side. And today we will use a uh, DVP uh, SEPOC with a uh, 06SA module. So here you can find uh, the 06 S8 is and the S2. You may wonder uh, what's the difference of these two modules. Okay, so basically uh, it's a uh, two point. First one is for the input uh, impedance, then another one is for the circuit design. This one is isolation, but uh, it, uh, 6 S8, uh, 06 S8 without isolation. So you can find more detail from our uh, installa installation uh, user uh, manual. And uh, 06A, this module, uh, we will have a six, uh, four input and two output. So maybe you can see from here will be uh, more clear. So you can see here we have a, a totally uh, six channel, but uh, four channel for input and two channel. I mean, uh, like a channel five, and channel six, this tool is for uh, output, and you can see the uh, mode setting. So for the input mode, uh, we have four channel, 
and can mod zero is for uh, minus ten to uh, plus ten, and mod one is uh, minus six to uh, ten, and current mod uh, we have a uh, two minus uh, twelve uh, twelve milliamp to uh, plus uh, twenty milliamp and minus twenty to plus uh, twenty milliamp. Okay, then here uh, for the output, we also have uh, four more, or uh, zero is uh, zero to 10 volt, and two to 10 volt, and four to 20 milliamp, and the final one is zero to 20. Okay, so now uh, come to the external wiring. So you can find, if we want to connect the voltage, then we just connect the uh, uh, B plus and come. But if we want to use a uh, current, then we have to short a uh, circuit of B plus and uh, I plus, and then I'll uh, connect another signal to uh, come. Then uh, regarding output, uh, for the voltage output, we use also a uh, V plus and come. But if you we use a uh, current output, then we will use only a uh, I plus and come. Okay, so here's a slightly different compare uh, with input. Okay, uh, as we mentioned, we have a four channel input. So here you can see we can set the average number and we can check the average value of this four channel. And this, this one is uh, average value. So you will see another four is for uh, present value. And average value is depends on the setting from uh, control or uh, register uh, number two to number five. Okay, so here, uh, if we, for example, if we want to read the average value of uh, channel one, then we, we can read from uh, control register six. And if we just want to get the present value, then we can read from control register 12. Okay, and if we want to set the output of uh, channel 5 and channel 6, so we just uh, keep the value uh, from here. Uh, I mean from uh, control register 10 and 11. And you can also check the error status uh, from control register 30. Okay, then uh, come to uh, this part. Uh, is, uh, analog uh, convert uh, to digital value. So you can see, uh, sorry, let's go back to here. You can see uh, for the input range is bigger and for the output the range is smaller. I mean, we don't have the minus. Okay. So here you can find for the input uh, is a plus minus 10 and the digital range is the uh, 2000 and if in current uh, only uh, plus minus, minus 20 milliamp but uh, the digital range would be only uh, 1000 so you can see the resolution is uh, basically uh, we say uh, 12 bit and this is what I mentioned earlier for the input impedance of these two uh, module. And you can find it is uh, for the circuit or design with uh, isolation and without isolation. And for the whole voltage output, uh, because have uh, the range only in a positive value, so you can see uh, it will be, uh, change from 2000 to 4000, but the resolutions uh, remain on 12 bit. Uh, then we will come to introduce how to use a uh, uh, analog I/O module uh, configuration. So first one, uh, we can use the function block, uh, and this one you can actually uh, request from uh, Delta H branch office. And this function block is uh, designed by uh, Delta Taiwan or PLCPU or General Huang. Okay, and as you can see from here, uh, we use the 06 uh, DVP 06 SA. 
So we will have our four channel input and two channel output. So here you will find this one is to uh, enable the function block function. And uh, you can find the number n means the number. So let's go back to this page. And because now we use the right hand side module, so that means it will start from uh, zero. And if you have the second one, then it was all. Uh, we will change the number to one. Okay, so here you can find uh, enable. We use the M one thousand. M one thousand means uh normally uh, open means uh, when uh, POC on, power on, then you will always uh, remain on. And the module as uh, we mentioned. Is the first our analog module connect to the PLC, so the number we put the uh, zero, and if we use the uh, two module, then the value should be uh, zero and one. Okay, and here you can find uh for the mode we have uh, four channels, so each uh channel you can select uh you just fill in the different value. For example, zero means uh, minus two uh, plus ten. And if you fill in one is a uh, minus six uh, two and two means a uh, minus uh, twelve a million. And if you fill in three means a uh, minus twenty million. And for uh, today's example, we will uh, connect uh, the channel five. Uh, I mean the first analog output. Uh, then uh, we connect back to the first channel uh, analog input. So you can see here we give the 4,000. 4,000 means uh, output is uh, actually a uh, 10 volt. And we connect to the first channel. So you can see uh, 10 volt give up almost uh, equal to 2,000. So you can find the value is uh, almost uh, 2,000. Then the second way to use a uh, uh, Analog I/O module configuration, we can use a, a wizard function. So you can go to wizard and select uh, this uh, this icon, then do some configuration. Okay, and here basically we will have a seven a uh, from start from zero to seven. And after you select the module, then you press uh, setup. So we can do some basic setting here. And the final one, uh, if you don't uh, want to use uh, function block or wizard, then you can use the traditional way. I mean, you can use the from two. Okay, so here you can find a uh, tool. Uh, this one uh, we will uh, two means uh, uh, we will write to the control register uh, one means uh, input mode uh, setting. So here is same the module number. So we put zero. And one means the control register one. Then if we put a zero, and definitely you are not sure what zero means. So let's go back to here again. So you can see uh, zero means uh, we will use the uh, uh, mode of full voltage. Then uh, two is uh, to get the value from average uh, input value from uh, uh, channel one. So you can do like it, uh, this. Okay, so uh, let's try again. Uh, we go to uh, communication setting and select a uh, reason. Check the connection status. Okay, so now we build a connection and just uh, download the program. Switch the status uh, to run. Okay, then we fill in the value 4000. Uh, you might wonder why the value did not come. Okay, so let's check. Just reset another condition here. 
so it's free or enable the function so you can see the value come here and let's check the mod so you just move your mouse here then you can see the comment then this one is for the uh, average time but uh, for this one uh, we actually uh, set all channel as same okay then uh, we will introduce another way to uh, use the weasel function so as i mentioned here you will find uh, a start from zero now the module we use is uh, 06x8 and we can click the setup so for example now we want to uh, uh, because for the mod we must use right uh, two two instruction because we have to set the uh, state uh, input uh, status okay so here as you see we can define the voltage or analog output okay so uh, if we want to uh, use all module uh, so, uh, voltage input and output then we just uh, uh, keep the setting like this then uh, add to this then, uh, then we can press ok and if you want to also set the average time and we can set the uh, 10 okay. and we can then uh, add to this then if we want to control the output or uh, status uh, okay, then we might use uh, always on and 1000 then write uh, 0 this one we can define to a uh, data register maybe 2000 okay then we can after this, uh, of course you can add more, then here I just do the example. So you can find like this, uh, trying to set the condition of uh, control uh, register 1, set, I mean do the mode setting. Then we can do the average time setting. And control the output of status value this one is use a uh, wizard function then the final one is uh, you just uh, use uh, to uh, to and from instruction here okay. so that's all for uh, today's analog module introduction thank you